here we are, the finals of Orlando Regionals. Only up we have Alex Schmansky. We saw him last round playing that Valpum Toolbox thing. And on the right, we have Azul, which we saw in top eight, playing his uh, his Evital deck. And Azul did take down Ryan Sablehouse. And has Azul ever won a regional championship? Azul is not. Azul uh, came in the finals once. I think he, uh, he was playing. I actually commentated that one, too. Uh, <laughs> So maybe I'm the bad luck charm. Oh. He was playing fairies against Dylan Bryan's Manetric uh, Aegislash Slash. Oh, no. monstrosity. Oh, and, that and was the day two switch stuff. That was the day yeah, two switch oh, up. Oh, man, I remember uh, that. But Azul has top eight, I think, three more times last year, uh, different regionals, and Azul was able to actually come in uh, and finish top 16 in the United States and, and get that day two invite. two states last Was it one state he won last year? Two? He won two states last yeah, year. Yeah, so made the champ. Yeah. Uh, Shemansky, on the other hand, he is a new master. This is his first non-league challenge tournament as a master. I just talked to him about it. And certainly <laughs> this is a, a fantastic result and the largest regional in the history of the Pokemon trading card game. Yeah. Uh, even larger than the Boston Open. Ooh. Yeah, even larger than that. Uh, so here we have a matchup uh, between Vilebox and, uh, and uh, Dark Garbodor. Yep. And so I think uh, Azul's strategy here is actually very straightforward despite um, his obstacles. He needs to get a Garbodor up. He needs to get Baby Evil Tall. Mm -hmm. He needs to lock a Vileplume active so yep. that Manamphy can actually help Vileplume retreat. And then he needs to start uh, spreading damage using uh, Pitch Black Spear. That's so that's, that's his uh, sort of game plan. Yeah. So we see Alex does take that mulligan. Yeah. So we'll get one extra mulligan. Every, you know, yeah. every mulligan does count in this Pokemon it game does. right now. It does. So, uh, Squeaky, what do you think is uh, different about Alex's strategy compared to last game when we saw him play against the Dark Tina? Pretty much the same thing. Hope Azul doesn't get that garb down the flow stone kind of thing. Uh, Azul, I'm pretty sure, does not play Ranger. Um, Azul, I don't think he plays Ranger, but yeah. he does play uh, the best supporter in format uh, called Olympia. Yep, we saw Brad play that too, but it did not save him either. So, uh, yeah, it's going to come down to how quickly this Garboda comes down. And can Azul lighten that valve and take a knockout at the yeah. same time to get the Garboda flow stone on the field? Yeah, it's going to be important to be able to get a float stone on a Garbodor. We saw last. Uh, Last game, Brad got, uh, was able to get a Fighting Fury belt on the Garbodor, which did shut off Vileplume, but ended up to leading to some troubles getting retreating. Yeah. Thank, you know, thankfully for him, he won that game. Yeah. Just that game, though. Just that game, though, unfortunately. So All right, guys, the players are started. 75 minutes on the clock. Uh, within 75 minutes, we'll figure out who is the 2016 Florida Regional Champion. All right, guys, but I have to go really quick. Um, my flight actually leaves here in, in, in like two hours and 30 minutes. Yep. So I'm going to go pack my bags for a comeback, and hopefully the Hopefully it hasn't finished, but I'll be I'll be kind of excited if it does finish with the time I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, well, all right we'll see you later, Squeaky. Good I'll, luck, Sam. I'll take I'll take right, good a, take luck. over for now. Don't do anything bad. I trust you. No, I'll, right. you'll see this on eBay tonight. Good. All all your equipment. All right, we see Azul play an Ultra Ball, and uh, I think Azul uh, starting Evil Tall is actually one of his ideal starters. He wants to uh, be able to use Pitch Black Spear as soon as possible. Um, uh, Shemansky, on the other hand, he's trying to get uh, he's trying to get that uh, Jolteon EX out. Jolteon EX, assuming Fright Knight's not shut off, can one shot that evil tall weak to lightning, um, and I'll obviously get a get a Garbodor up. Oh, sorry, get a Vileplume out. And Azul starts with the double colorless. Uh, the the cost of Pitch Black Spear is dark colorless colorless, so he's halfway there. And we see Azul attach the Fighting Fury Belt to Trubbish, which is unfortunate. He'd rather have that be a float stone so he has a way to retreat. Uh, but the reason he's doing that is so that he can get a tool on the Trubbish before Vileplume actually hits the field. If Vileplume hits the field, uh, Azul will no longer be able to attach any tools. And um, if he can't attach any tools, uh, well, then, uh, then Garbotoxin won't shut off uh, Vileplume. We actually see uh, quite a painful uh, uh, Sycamore from Shemansky here. He had to discard a Gloom and a Vileplume with the Forest in play, as well as a double colorless energy. But hopefully he gets some uh, good resources from, uh, from the Sycamore. We'll see an Ultra Ball here, uh, presumably for an Oddish, although not exactly sure what he wants. It looks like he's, looks like he's taking that Oddish. And Shemansky is searching his deck to see what he's prized, uh, and some important things to count. Oh no, he's getting a Shaman. All right, he he needs to he needs to see more cards. Uh, he has a pretty dead hand, I assume, and and uh, needs to see more cards. Yep, he's gonna play down that Jolteon, and then Shaman and set up his hand up to uh, six, and let's see if he gets anything. Well, he gets a double colorless, but he's already attached for turn, and he's just gonna pass over to Azul. And this is a golden opportunity for Azul. 
Oh wow! Gets the Garbodor in play. That shuts off Garbotoxin for for uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, he's not going to have trainer lock, and Azul's going to be able to play all of his trainers. He plays a lot of the one ofs, enhanced hammer. Um, you know, uh, he he plays other VS seekers. He needs to get his supporters back. So there's a lot of options here. Okay, he's going to max elixir, trying to get for a dark energy. He gets it, gets it on Evil Tall. Um, if uh, Evil Tall powering up a big Evil Tall EX because it could be very good. It can one shot things uh, if uh, uh, Red Ice or Jolteon if if they haven't used their uh, their attacks in the last turn. But what's more important is can he actually get a pitch black spare off? He does, and he's going to be hitting uh, that Jolteon for I think I think he's be hitting that Jolteon for uh, 60 damage. Um, he's thinking about it because he might want to go Shaman, but I think Jolteon's the right play, and he, he does uh, he does do that. And so this is the combo that I talked about earlier, uh, what Azul needs to win the game. This is the combination. He has it. The only flaw with his plan, I guess, is the fact that his Garbodor is a fl uh, Fighting Fury Belt and not a Float Stone. Um, all right, it's Alex's turn. He does get the Oddish out, and he uh, the Vile Plume line means less now with, uh, with the Garbodor up. But what is Alex's win condition here? I think his win condition is actually... Uh, he, well, right now, I think he uh, needs a Manamphy to retreat. Um, oh, Manamphy doesn't help him. He, I think he just wants to get Ice Beam right here. Yeah, he just wants to get an Ice Beam right here. Oh, but uh, he can't. Um, he, attached to, he attached to Jolteon, excuse me. So he's going for, uh, he's going for uh, a lot here. I mean, his out is to try to, I guess, next turn paralyze that evil tall and then be able to retreat somehow. It's, or it's going to get knocked out, sorry. It's gonna get, Reg Ice is going to get knocked out, and Jolteon's going to get one turn active. So here's Azul's conundrum. If he knocks out that Reg Ice, then Jolteon's definitely going to get promoted, and, and uh, Shemansky's one rainbow away, away from using Jolteon to, to uh, basically lock Azul out of the game. So what Azul needs to do, I think he's going to pass... And uh, I think he's going to pass and try to get the Lysander knockout on Jolteon EX with his own Evil Tall EX the next turn. I don't think he's going to attack here. Uh, if you, you can risk it, I know from my perspective we can see that Shemansky has no rainbows in his hand. But he does have a Sycamore. So let's see what happens here. Azul grabs a Fright Knight Evil Tall. Uh, that's a... Uh, I mean, he doesn't have many other attackers in his deck that, that could help the cause, so that's as good of any card to get. Yeah, I'm looking over Azul's position. I think he just passes his turn, despite uh, having the ability to attack uh, as to not let Jolteon become active. Because even if Jolteon, you know, Jolteon has 160 HP, even if he has all the HP, uh, even if he has very little HP, oh no, Azul's going to take the knockout. All right. I think he's risking it to get the biscuit here. Uh, he needs a rainbow energy. The second Jolteon, he definitely needs a rainbow energy here. Alex grabs the Glaceon, is going to Ultra Ball, get rid of that Glaceon. He, I like what he's doing. I think he has a supporter in hand. He's going to thin out his deck as much as possible before having to play the supporter. Um, uh, and he just, yeah, he needs that energy. He needs a rainbow energy or else it's, uh, it's not fun times for Vilebox. Okay, so he grabs a second Glaceon using it. A Glaceon's going to be pretty much irrelevant in this, or completely irrelevant in this matchup, other than like a Meat Shield. Uh, and Sycamore, can he get a lightning type providing energy? And I think that's it. He got the lightning energy or the Rainbow Energy, and that's, yep, that's 130 on Jolteon. But Jolteon, Azul does not play a way to, uh, I, I don't know if he plays Escape Rope. He might play Escape Rope, but Escape Rope basically then is now his only out. He has to Escape Rope and Lysander. Um, oh, actually, uh, he can Escape Rope and, uh, and uh, Evil Tall can get the knockout. Because the effect would reset uh, once it goes to the bench. Uh, Lysander also does it. So he needs a Lysander or Escape Rope right now. Can he get it? In his ideal world, he Lysander... Wait, oh. He didn't have it. I guess not the Lysander. Does he have the rope?
Doesn't look like he has. I think it's an insta play if he has it. Because uh, he can just. Yeah, he can rope to his benched. One of his benched uh, Evil Tully, Evil Tully X, and just retreat to get the knockout. Uh, oh, he does get an enhanced hammer. That is helpful. Um, enhanced hammer. Uh, Forces Shemansky to get another Rainbow Energy in the next turn. And double Enhanced Hammer. What a play by Azul. Wow, that's, that's huge. There is no chance that Shemansky will be able to use Flash Ray the next turn. Um, Azul's going to retreat. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best. Yeah, he's rethinking it too. Because there's literally no way that uh, Shemansky can get a knockout next turn. The only possible bad thing that can happen is if uh, Alex gets his, uh, gets his Jirachi out uh, and I guess takes the DCE off. But Okay, here it is. What is Chris's play? Um, I see the Lysander in hand. He's, I think he's contemplating Lysandering the Garbodor. Uh, if he lies in as a Garbodor, which does not have a float stone, he could potentially stall for a couple turns to power up his other Jolteon EX to use Flash Ray. And that's exactly what he does, and he's going for it. He needs, he needs energy, he needs energy quick. Those two enhanced hammers are deadly. And, oh, wow, Olympia. Uh, the supporter everyone forgot about. Olympia brings it back to the bench. Uh, Zul's contemplating whether to bring out his Fright Knight Evil Tell, but I think he has to. He needs the knockout. 60 on the bench Jolteon. And there, uh, Shemansky's down to uh, very little options. He has to try to get a Jirachi and, uh, and uh, okay. Here it is. He evolves the other Garbodor. Uh, I guess he's thinning his hand. Not sure I like that play too much, but because Tr Trubbish is two retreat, Garbodor is three. Uh, but I guess one card out of your hand, you can't, uh, can't go wrong there. And I think uh, Miss Trainer's Mail... And he's going to have to play the end. I think he wants to thin out his deck as much as possible. Yep. Uh, so Alex is smartly not evolving into Vileplume. The reason is Vileplume is 3 retreat and uh, Garbodor's tool is, has a tool on it. So Garbotoxin is actually going to shut off any way for Vileplume to retreat uh, using Manamphy. So uh, locking a Vileplume active while sniping Bench Jolteon with Pitch Black Spear is one of Azul's uh, outs. But it certainly looks like he's in a commanding position at this point. What can he do? Well, that Jirachi is his, sort of his only hope, I think. Is that a Mag That's not a Magirna. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that Alex doesn't play, uh, doesn't, uh, well, doesn't play Magirna, but I guess there's some space. Uh, Magirna wouldn't help here either. Just, uh, thinking out loud here. And he's gonna Sky Return, I think. And Sky Return's going to get the knockout, uh, on, uh, on Evil Tall. He's going to bring up Jolteon, and all Azul needs is a Darkness Energy, and by the speed at which he went, he grabbed for that uh, Bench Fright Knight Evil Tall, I mean, he just can't wait to get it active and get a Darkness Energy on it to knock out Jolteon for two prizes, and the game is uh, going to come to a close from here. Yep, he has the Darkness Energy. It's exciting game one. Uh, he's going to do the double snipe with Pitch Black Spear, which hits uh, two EX, an active for 60 and an EX, Bench DX for 60. As well, Shemansky's going to try to... Oh, he can't use Setup, but he's going to put it down the Shaman. And his out is a Shaman loop. All right, and I'm back, guys. Wow. Now, uh, I guess Alex has only really played as maybe lights in that Garboder. Get Setup from there, maybe? No, uh, so uh, Azul plays uh, Olympia. Ooh, we already saw it played? Yeah, in a previous turn, uh, Alex actually lies centered up the, the Fighting Fury Belt Garbodor and Azul immediately Olympiad. <laughs> for so the knockout, uh, for the knockout on Jolteon now, he EX. He could maybe have a knockout this turn if he has some energies. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's not a knockout just yet on that Shaman. So there's the So going to the active. Uh, going to send up the Evotal with the Bliv Wing, and we'll see a pass onto Alex's turn. Okay. Yeah, the reason he doesn't want to, the reason he's retreating is because Alex is in a situation, or Alex is as well in a situation called a shaman loop. What a shaman loop is, is if you have two shamans, oh, um, Ooh, which, which, which yeah. garbage you want? If you have two shamans in play, what you can actually do is you can actually uh, keep sky returning. If your opponent can't knock you out or end you or disrupt your hand, you can infinitely, uh, infinitely uh, just loop. heal shamans every other turn while doing three damage. Does Alex only have like three cards left in his deck? 
Alex had to dig through a lot to get a Rainbow Energy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so he, you, missed, you missed uh, one of the most exciting turns of the weekend where Azul played a double enhanced hammer. The turn after the active Jolteon used uh, Flash Ray. Oh my goodness. So we know Azul plays two enhanced hammers. That's exciting. So DC, go into that shame. Oh uh, no, he attached twice. No, 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 you're good. No, no, no. He attached twice. He attached Dredge Ice. Did he not? He, I just saw Max looks a second ago. Oh. Yeah. I, I might have missed the turn while talking to you. We're good, we're good, yeah. I yeah, saw, yeah I'm I saw sorry, his, I'm I sorry. Yeah, yeah I, I, I apologize good, then. Good, yeah, good, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh... You're good. Shocked for no reason. <laughs> no. Don't worry, there's four judges over there. Yeah. There's four judges. I went past. I was like, oh, there are oh. four judges. Yeah, they would have caught that immediately. Right. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> I apologize for startling our viewers with my so, foolishness. But we see Reg Ice taking a knockout here. All right, so Fright Night Evil Tall. But Fright Night Evil Tall can attack that Reg Ice. Fright Night like Evil Tall goes through Reg Ice. Uh, what uh, Alex, Alex is hoping for is this thing called Heads on Ice Beam. <laughs> or Ninja great. Boy. He's got Ninja Boy. Uh, when he's a ninja, when oh, we got, oh, got the float stone. And we see Alex scoop the game really when he realized he gets the other float stone down. Oh my goodness, Alex tries so hard. Yeah, I made a comment earlier about how Alex didn't shouldn't evolve to Vile Plume because didn't evolve to Vile Plume because he didn't want to get locked active. Well, it turns out that not evolving there came up big at the end, and I I didn't foresee it. I don't think did Alex did. He have a gloom either. in the X at one point. He had a gloom uh, before he end. He could have evolved to Vile Plume, but he didn't because the other Garbodor was still alive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. Um, all right, we're going to have to update the scores here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I mean, one, that was a, that was a pretty quick game one. I was looking off for like 10 minutes, if that. Yeah. I mean, these, this game, these games probably shouldn't go that long. That's good. Not much, That's uh, good for me, then. Yep. It's a 25-minute car ride to the airport. All right, well, it's time for, uh, it's time for game two. <laughs> right now, stop shuffle, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are your predictions for game two, Squeaky? Well, I mean, I kind of missed game one, so I don't know. Okay. Um, I guess my same prediction. If Alex gets that Tome of Alphalum. Yeah, Alex is going to go first. Um, yeah. And he, uh, we saw in top four, he got turn one Vileplume both games uh, in order to just completely annihilate Brad in the, those games. Um, turn one Vileplume is huge. Azul needs a turn of items. We will see, uh, we will see what happens. Yep. And now uh, we saw last game, you know, Azul didn't care that he got that Fighting Fibro on that Garboder as long as he gets a certain tool. Yeah, you prefer Floatstone, but you need the tool down before yeah. Vileplume. Yeah, I mean, if Azul does get a turn of yeah. items, he has to immediately. He has to get a. He has to get a, a yeah, this is one of those matchups. I think the person going first is a is a, is a, a huge advantage. Not a huge advantage. I think Alex has a huge advantage going first, but Azul may not have as much. But going first is certainly an advantage in this matchup. I think that's an oddish that I saw. I saw some ultra balls. Uh, Azul mulligans again, which is good for Alex. Gets that. Gets the extra card. Yeah. I see Vile Plume. I see an. I see an ultra ball. Uh, gloom. He has a Gloom Valpum Force in his hand. Wait, is that, or is that in? Oh man, I got excited. I, I know I see Gloom Valpum for sure. I mean, at this point, it's everything is exciting. Yeah. Is I don't it? know why I signed up for this. I played what 14 rounds of Pokemon, and I'm back uh, watching <laughs> three more. All right, but another Mulligan. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how people do this. M mulligan or? No. Uh, play this much Pokemon in a weekend. Oh yeah. yeah. That's why I'm not doing it this weekend. That's why. That's why I try not to cut every regionals. So. Oh, that's what. It so is. I don't have to play as much. Yeah, yeah you that's, get a little that's, tired. That's why. That's why. That's what Rami said. He scooped his last round. Yeah. Because he's tired of playing Pokemon. <laughs> 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 All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, Zul starts that Evital EX, and uh, we get the Oddish and does. Uh, is there a forest of giant plants? Uh, I want to say that's a forest right there. That looks like a forest. There's some green vines on top. Oh, that's in. Never mind. That's in. You tricked me. Good old in. Got that green hair. I think it might be a forest, but yeah, uh, nope. Grabs another Oddish, though. Maybe he's scared. Azul is hard pressed to get a turn one knockout, but having the Oddish. Oh, he has it. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yep. he has it. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, man. Any touch of Rainbow Ninja Dactyl, which one's again, you might think it's bad, but he does put that Ninja Boy. Yep. Yep. You see Azul right what now. What is Oddish's attack? This is not the blot one, right? This is the. I don't is it called know. Acid? I have no idea what it's called. It might be Acid. Is, something. is it Acid? I don't know. We both got smartphones. We could look this up. You know, that'd be too easy. <laughs> All right. So, ooh, immediate Lysander owned the Valpum, though. So, wow. Wow. Immediate Lysander's up that Valpum. Yeah, I mean, that's his. That's a good. Sycamore. Ooh. ooh, that's a lot of cards discarding there. All right. And now we see a DCE. Uh, no Manafi just yet. Another Gloom hitting the field. 
And Alex is getting ready to maybe... Oh, but if he, if he puts the Gloom down, he can not Ninja Boy. But there's the Gloom coming out of the field. We see a Jolteon, a DC going down to Jolteon as well. Yeah, but it's nice to get the energy on Gloom anyway, because when, uh, I can retreat using Wait, Manamphy. Yeah, yeah. Manamphy. So it's not, a, not, not all wasted. Do you want to guess what Ach's attack is? Uh, I'm looking it up right now. Ten flip a coin if has the active Pokemon's now poison. No, it has, it's, it's a very 420-related attack. It's called Trip Over. <laughs> You're so... It's thematic. <laughs> thematic to damage? the card. It does, it does 10. You can flip a coin. If you get heads, it is 10 more damage. I knew it did some kind of flip a coin heads, though. Oh, it's close. That's I mean, close. it's great. It's great. This is... Uh... I mean, he looks so happy in this field of flowers. <laughs> All right, but we see in from Azul. I'm just appreciating the art of this Oddish. That's a like, beautiful. Yeah. It's, I, I, it's a beautiful card. Aren't are, all aren't all Oddishes beautiful? Not all Oddishes are created oh, equal. Oh no. no. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, but we see Azul just put that uh, Friday night of Azul and just pass. No energy attachment for the turn out e either. Yeah. That's all right. So unfortunate. Uh, but Alex, right now, he's got a DCE. He's got an in. He's got a Ninja Boy. But no, Manaphy, Manafi. What do you even call it? You think it's Manafi or Manafi? I like Manafi. I think it's Manaphy, but but I pronounce it wrong. No, you said Manaphy earlier. Then I said I've been saying this in Manaphy oh. the whole time. I say Manaphy because uh, David uh, Kibbers Hoshman Hoffman oh. has German accent. He always says yeah. Manaphy. So. I mean, I, I pronounce some Pokemon names like wrong. The one that bothers me the most is Arceus or Arceus. <laughs> The, the anime pronounces it Arceus, but that's definitely a soft C. There's no way, like oh. just phonetically speaking. So we see a Ninja Boy for, Man, for Manafi. Yeah, that's a, that's a sweet play. All right, does yeah. he have a way to retreat? To, I mean, the good thing about this, he got the Manaphy out, so that Falcon does have free retreat next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, DC going down to the Evital, but it's not going to be a knockout. There's an Anvil player are getting a new hand. Yeah, I'm not six. sure that end doesn't help Shemansky to get, get a rainbow. It might, it might not. But Azul, Azul, is, Azul has to do what he, you know, has to try to take some knockouts. Yeah. He's never taken knockouts this time. Sorry, uh, has to try to go aggressively. Yeah. To take but once that Jolteon comes up, how does Azul deal with that Jolteon? Uh, he, can pr uh, he can pray for game three. Oh, does he do you scoop immediately? No, no, no. You, you uh, have... Uh, if, well, I'm hoping they scoop immediately. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you scoop immediately. Uh, let's see. Is there, are there any outs to actually a Jolteon? He does play two Enhanced Hammers, but no Garbodor out. He has no access to them. No Hex Maniac. No Hex Maniac, no Ranger. Uh, this is... Uh, I think it's a lost a lost end game if, if yeah. he gets that second energy on Jolteon. You say he plays two Lysanders? Two Lysanders. Okay. So, I mean, he can knock out the first Valpoom, and then Alex can get the second Valpoom out, and that's pretty much game. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. All right. So, we see good old Travis hitting the field. Um, we might see just an E-ball for uh, 80 damage. No. And he top decks yeah. a trainer's mail, but yeah. that's... Uh, it's not the card he wants. Yeah. He's got some DCE. He's got a forest. Okay. Uh, DCE yeah. not gonna be so helpful. He's got a Mew. Uh, benches the Mew, and this might be bad stuff because what Alzul can start doing is maybe in that pitch black spear and start hitting those Pokemon. Yeah, but his uh, Shamansky's just waiting for this Vileplume to die. Azul's pitch black spear is like two turns away at least, and as soon as uh, I mean, you gotta think about the number of prizes that are left. Mm -hmm. Now, if there's, you're Azul... There's not enough... Uh, I guess the Mew does put enough prizes uh, on the board for Azul to win the game. Now, if you're Azul... It just takes too long. Do you wait? Do you take the knockout now or do you just wait? He has a Lysander's hand already. If he can get enough energy on the Evital in the X and X spot, he can Lysander the Jolteon, take a knockout, which I know is very, very weird to do, but Alex has a Gloom down. He has a DC in the Jolteon. Uh, I like that play, actually. Yeah, because I, I think this is Azul's, like, I think about, like, he's like, oh, do I be aggressive? If he does, well, I mean, all Alex has to do is find a Vile Plume and his Rainbow Energy. There's a Rainbow Energy in his hand. So, mm, do you see that Rainbow Energy right there? Yeah, that's... Yeah, I see him. I see that Rainbow Energy just staring at us. And it shouldn't be too hard to find Vile Plume once you have your, your items back online. There's Trainer's Mill. I see Glaceon. Oh, man. So, uh, let's see. What does Azul start, decide to do here? There's a DC on the active. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. We're just seeing what to do. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. That's 140. So DC going to the active. And, and oh, he is going to take the knockout. Now, what okay. he could do next turn? He's going to take the risk. He's going to take the risk. He's going to say, uh, I need. Uh, it's a, is that a love ball? That's a love ball. Oh, yeah, sycamore. sycamore, yeah. Sycamore sure. But what Azul could do next turn is license into the other gloom and take a knockout. And I think that's all the Vile Plumes. They don't play Revitalizer. Yeah, but then you still have to deal with Jolteon. Like, you need a, you need a Lysander and Pitch Black Spirit. Like three times. Yeah. Uh, whereas Jolteon takes the one, uh, the Oko on uh, on Baby Little Tall without yeah. finding Curry Belt. Mm. So now Azul puts him in work. Like I said, I don't know if Azul, <coughs> if that was the best play or not. I don't know. Uh, I mean, he's in a precarious position regardless. So I think uh, he's taking a risk that he can't find the rainbow. 
but that's uh, fair. yeah, there's anybody coming down yeah. to Mew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a, a smart play. But no, that's actually a bad play for Alex, I think. Uh, because what Azul could do next turn is a Lysander. If he gets into the Lysander, brings up the Jolteon, knocks it out. He doesn't have another Jolteon on the field right now. No, but he's protecting the Jolteon. True. Oh, yeah, no, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but now he leaves it for a Lysander target because it, you know. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Hmm. But I mean, he you does. Should, you should be playing in, in that thing. <sighs> I'm kidding. Oh, man. Probably not. Probably not. I think you would have won today if you I played probably. Squeaky. Uh, I was playing Rainbow Road. I would have played Rainbow Road. Oh. Then, you, then you wouldn't have won. Hey, you don't know. Maybe, don't know. The, maybe the, know. the Rainbow Road players aren't as good as me. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. But here we see the Mew coming up. Oh, we're going to see a flash rate for 100 and... No, just 70. Just Oh, we could see an Eva Ball maybe. Oh, that's what he decided to do. Alex used Eva Ball. Jesus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 180 what a, what damage. What a smart play that not Neither of oh us saw. Oh my goodness. This is why this Alex is, here. This is why Alex is in the finals. This, this, is, why, this is why I missed the top eight. Because <laughs> I can't see pro players like this. <laughs> and we see Azul scoop the game. We're going to game number three, guys. It's only been, like, what has it only been like 20 minutes, maybe, if that? We are. Yeah. Uh, it started at 5.05, uh, .05, I think, and now it's yes. five, like 26 or something. Yeah, so we are flying through this yeah. game right now. That's good for me. Well, hope this game just. That's, like, that's two things I've said today that were just blatantly untrue about optimal play. <laughs> <laughs> good thing, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. thing I don't have the opportunity to make that make mistakes on stream. What, what, a, what a good play. That was a good play. Yeah, but like I was probably playing this deck for a long time. Yeah. You think Alex is the one who made this deck, or you think they all together made this deck? I think they had a team of people who did. Uh, yeah. But Alex obviously got the best result. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. His brother played it. A couple other people played it. Yeah, we Chris Hill, Sean Foisey. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, guys. But oh, oh, hold on. We gotta fix this, guys. I know people are gonna pop in asking, uh, what's yeah, the game count? And the game, uh, count, yeah. the game count is one to one right now. Yeah. And whoever wins, gonna be your Orlando ch regional champion. Yes. Five thousand dollars more in the pocket too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What the players here are playing for is actually uh, five thousand dollars to the winner and twenty five hundred dollars to the second place finisher. Certainly a nice payday. Uh, pay for the flight, and I guess. Uh, Overall, just good money. Good money, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How much is that with taxes taken out? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. You're supposed to know this. If, if, only I, if only I won enough money here to have to pay taxes on it. <laughs> no, I don't. When I use, like, uh, Pokemon, just every year, like, Pokemon sends me, like, a tax form and just give it to my accountant and he puts it in the software. It's mm. great. I don't think Pokemon, uh, they have paid me enough. I don't know if I... I once had to pay, like, additional taxes on, on like, my Pokemon earnings. It wasn't fun. <laughs> Just do your job to take your taxes out or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's like... Ah, I've had that happen to me, too. That's yeah. why I knew I exactly knew what happened. Yeah. When I was at school, I was a, they didn't take my taxes out, which is the reason. Whoops. <laughs> so I had to both cover for some money. So that's fun. Uh, but, guys, we're just waiting to see who's going to set up here. And uh, I think they're both going to set up. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, Alex already set up. That's Azul's true. Not, yeah, we'll see. We'll set up. Yeah, we're waiting on Azul to set up now. All right, so Azul's <laughs> going first, and I think the, the plot line is similar to game one. He needs Double to Morgan. do the same thing... That he did game one. Game one, he started with the uh, evil tall with pitch black spear. He got a double color to sun on a turn one and a bench trubbish with a fighting fury belt. All in turn one. All in turn one. Oh my goodness. And Azul needs a very similar start here, and he doesn't quite get that. Does he Looks start like with the pitch black spear or the? Okay. okay. All right. Not the worst starter. But it's something. But he's certainly looking for a trubbish. There's Magarna. Uh, oh, that is McGarrett. He does play McGarrett. Yeah, I heard, I, was, you, I heard you say he does play McGarrett. I was like, he does play McGarrett. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> great, thing, great thing I was paying attention for the past two hours. Because <laughs> I would have missed an important card like that. How do you, why, why are we worried about McGarrett earlier? No, no. I was just thinking, I was like hypothesizing a possible. Like, oh, okay. You know, was, yeah. Sean Foisy took a knockout with McGarrett. No, Alex Hill did. Alex Hill took a knockout with Magirna. Magirna is the best attacker, <laughs> I would say, in the deck. It's like 120 and 60. It's 120, and like next turn it does 60, 60. less. Yep. Yeah. But here's a Trubbish, Flowstone, and DC. What a great it turn. Is. Oh, the only way this goodness. could be better is if the active Pokemon were an evil tall, baby evil tall, and not evil tall EX. But uh, Azul cannot complain about this start. I, I would not complain? No. No way. And it's a Flowstone? Like, not even five to rebuild. It's a Flowstone. Flowstone. Got that for your treat forever. Yeah. It's not going away. Because you might prize Olympia, you know. That's true. Mm. That's true. No, she's not prized. I don't think so. She's always she's always showing up at the party. She might show late to the party. But she's always at the but party. But she's always at the party. She's always showing up. So yeah. All right. So both players are going to shuffle, get six new cards, and uh, will Alex find this turn one Valpum, or will Valpum even matter? Mm. Valpum may not matter as much. Uh, it depends on if Azul did. Ooh. Uh, what, what? 
So Alex up? has a Drachi in his hand. But I don't think there's a way he can retreat that Magirna. Like I said, no Floatstones. Another Floatstone. I, I would attach it. Uh, I don't know why he wouldn't. I would attach it because you like Pitch Rocks, but you're here. <laughs> Fighting Fury Belt doesn't make a huge difference at all. Yeah. It's a two-shot. Nope, game. just nope. fast. Nope. Going to right. uh, Alex Third. He's got a Lugia, a Jirachi, right. Trainer's Mail. But there's no way he can switch out this active. It's stuck there. Like, it, well, he can't He can't retreat and attack with Jirachi just there. Yeah. No Flowstone. No Lysa. Play Flowstone. Oh, there's a Ninja Boy. If only he had Ninja Boy. Well, hmm, what is he, a Ninja Boy? Jolteon. Yeah. Oh, Free Retreat Energy. Yeah. He's got it now. Just like that. Just like that. Hmm. It's really good. This is why they pay us the big bucks, to yeah. tell you what they're going to do, like, <laughs> half a second before they do it. <laughs> and sometimes give you bad advice. I'm still waiting for those big bucks. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see why did you go to to Drachi. We'll see Retreat, and we'll see a Stardust. Discarded that DCE, but I mean, besides that, Alex's hand is uh, really bad. Oh, there's an end. There's an end. He has an end there. Okay, never mind. He's good. Yeah, I needed that ninja boy. He needed yeah, to get rid of that he energy. He needed to get rid of that energy. Uh, now, Azul does have the dark energy. He can attach to the active. Yeah. Uh, he's got another flow stone, which we... Oh, Garboder. Mm. Mm. Yep, that's a card. He's got some... some uh, I think Azul actually has a bad hand as well. Well, now, I, don't, now I know Alex doesn't, but there's a flow stone going to the active. Yeah. We'll see retreat. I think he has a max elixir. Do we know if Azul plays max elixir? He does play max elixir. Yeah, I see some max elixir dark energies. I don't think he has a sport card. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're seeing a pass onto Alex's turn. Yes, a pass. Now, does Alex play this in? He top decks a Sycamore. Lugia coming down. We see a Rainbow just going to Jolteon. And we're going to see Sycamore. He did only have an in. But, uh, yeah. Well, right. that's great because for him. <laughs> I know you want us to win. Uh, I don't. I actually am not rooting for either player. Really? Yeah. No. I thought you were rooting for your teammate. He's not my teammate. Oh, he's, yeah, you just don't lie. He's, an acquaint he's literally not. I just know him from the area. Oh. Yeah. Dang, I thought you were the same area. We're just something. good friends. Oh. So, uh, mm, let's see. What does Alex do here? Can he get a... Uh, there's a love ball. But, like, Valpo doesn't really matter. So he could focus on it. Just case Valpo doesn't matter as much anymore. Here. Unless he can somehow find a way to knock out that guard boater, but there's no way. Like he has, a, he has two double, he has two He has like no real good way to do 100. Yeah, so that's the only downside. But Azul's hand is just terrible. Yeah. He could just lose in four turns. He could. Yep. Now, Azul will take a knockout next turn. He does have a dark energy. He can need a ball for the knockout. Uh, unless Alex decides to retreat that draw to the bench, Jolteon. And that's what we're going to see here. Uh, oh, he's debating, but I think you had to retreat it. There's no way you don't. Yeah, retreat to the Jolteon. And we'll see a pass. And onto, oh, there, there he is. There's Sycamore showing the party. There's, oh, and Hand's Tamer, Dark Energy, Sycamore, Flowstone. Okay. And a Reverse Valley as well. If you, yeah, might as well. And a Sycamore. What a top deck. What a top deck. Well, what's important now is that uh, Shamansky, Jirachi, and Magirna actually take 10 less damage. <laughs> so because of Reverse Valley, Jirachi would not have been knocked out. Oh, well, he had the energy on it, I guess. So it would have been 70 <laughs> instead of 50. So I just want to point out the important you know, things about this matchup <laughs> to our viewers. Yeah, yeah. Got to remember that Reverse Valley is double-sided, so those still Pokemon will take 10 less damage. Do you know another fun fact? Uh, Garbodor's attack, Offensive Bomb, can actually hit through Jolteon for the, for the reasonable cost of Psychic, Colorless, Colorless, Colorless. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, so see if Ryan on Evil Tall coming down. Uh, Max looks looking for this Dark Energy on the bench, Evil Tall. And can he start using the pitch block here? Nope, not this turn. He's not He's not going to use it this turn. We can't do it anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. He yeah. already attached return. He already attached return. Yeah, I know, man. We're, uh, look, it's long days. You know, energy switches in format. Is Who it? plays I it? I don't even know if it's in format. I'm I just, think it is. I think it is. It must be. Mm. It's one of those cards they print every, like, three years. <laughs> every two days. Every two days. Yeah. There's a Shaman coming down, and we're going to see a Shaman loop here. You do you see the Shaman? Go to Treat. Go to Sky Return. I think that's what we're going to do. Yep. Go to Sky Return. And who does he send up? Uh, the Jolteon without the ton of damage. So, see, 30 damage. coming down the Evital. Oh, no. Zul's turn. Do you just load up, like, one giant Evital, or do you try to go Pitch Block Spear? Uh, let's see, where, where, where are we here? Um, we're he's going to try to attack uh, because he wants to pile as much damage nope, nope, as possible to pitch blocks there. Does Alex have nothing either? Or does Zul have nothing? This is a great final so far. Game three. Both players kind of draw passing. I mean, I mean Zul's not draw passing, but he's just not really doing a I mean, lot. he's draw doing 60 damage, yeah. which is pretty good. good. 70 damage. Yeah, yeah. That's, that seems good. 
So we'll see, uh, Alex. He has a DC in his hand. Does he play it down? Does he go for another shaman attack? He has thing? to. He can't shaman. He yeah. can't shaman loop for the rest of the game. He's not gonna win that one. Well, no, but does he attach a DC first, or does he just sycamore discard the DC? He needs the DC. Oh, so Lysander, oh, Lysander, bring out the Evatol. Ooh, that could be a downside. Uh, DC uh, retreat, uh, Sky return okay. for thirty. And which Pokemon does he decide to send up? It looks like maybe the other Jolteon. All right, on to Azul's turn, man. Does he find the Olympia? He can negate Alex's turn if he finds Olympia. Heal that 30 and switch. That's the two things. The card's is. broken. Yeah, that's what he did last turn. But a Lysander on the Lugia and a pass. But now Alex can start Arrow Ball in here for 40. Arrow Ball. Yep. What does my life come to? <laughs> if somebody's watching Alex side of the field, it's like, what is he playing? They join the stream right now. They'd be like, what is going on here, guys? Uh, there's a trade as well from Azul. Look at top four. Azul finds another Lysander. I doubt he wants that at all. Why not? I mean, what are you going to Lysander up? The Jones going for your tree? Uh, eventually. I think it's good to have if you have nothing else. I mean, you take something if you have nothing else, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, it's, you know, you have Garbodor up. Like, even if you have to discard yeah. it to a second more, you can still be a secret yeah, for it. You have true. enough resources. True, 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 true. So I'm glad you're here with me. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... He's still debating what to do. Uh, he has Parallel City, Lysander. I'm not what the other two cards are. Um, Let's see. Which, oh, there's an Ultra Ball as well. But he can't Ultra Ball for Shaman because Garbodor is in play. Well, he could Ultra Ball for Shaman. Well, he, yeah. That's, yeah, he could. Those are options. No, those are options. But, those uh, are options. Uh, that would not be a great thing to do. He Ultra Ball Please discards two Sycamore. Shaman. He discards two Sycamores. Two Sycamore. There's, a, there's the card we want. There's a card. I don't know if it's a card we want. It's a card. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. It's better than uh, keeping your hand clogged. Yeah. But he had two Sycamores in his hand. So I imagine he has the third card. That's probably a Sycamore. I don't know. Well, he has some way to draw cards. I imagine it's Sycamore. Or he's going for the long con. Oh, via Sycamore. First Sycamore. All right. So here we go. Drawing seven new cards. Can as well. Does he play three Foe Stones? Plays three. Two are two are attached. Yeah, uh, so one somewhere for. hiding in the. You can also retreat with DC, although oh, I'm not sure he wants yeah, to do that because yes. then he can get deep hurricaned Ooh, for <laughs> 150. 150, which will knock out that Evatov. Alex can find another DC. Oh my goodness. All right, so uh, does Azul? Azul's probably ready to deep hurricane. He's leaning over. He he just read a deep hurricane. Did I'm pretty sure. Deep hurricane is probably the best tech ever printed. That's why it costs four colorless. Cause it's so broken. You need four colors and a stadium kind of play. And a stadium play. And a place. Yeah. yeah. It's like a good old wreck from Don Fan. It's like two of the best tackers. Don Fan and Mewtwo combined in one. Made a Luga. I know. And they gave it that sick uh, lightning type weakness. <laughs> All right. So we see an Oddish coming down finally from Alex. You haven't seen one this whole game, actually. Uh, now he has a life center. He has a Shaman. But... Deep Hurricane, that Garbodor, is that the play? Oh, man. He is, de nah, he doesn't have another DC in the hand. Or I imagine he would have done it immediately, right? No, I don't know. Well, I don't Maybe. even know what I'd do in this position. If you had a DC in your hand, you wouldn't license that Garbodor Deep Hurricane for a knockout? I think so, but then what do you do afterwards? What's your follow-up? I don't know. Cry? Because he hits you with the His e follow Like You need to be able to use Jolteon the next turn after you do that. So I yeah. think that's what he's trying to do, but it's just... He's stalling a little bit until uh, until he can uh, stabilize his rest of his board. Mm -hmm. He knows his wool still has one more enhanced hammer, so. There's a DC in his hand. He's going to send the Evatol. One, two, three, four, five. There's only 100 damage. It's not enough for a knockout. Own that Lugia. Yeah, All but right. he's basically. Oh, 110. 110, sorry. Lugia can't knock it back out. Uh, Lugia doesn't do the 20 plus, and even then. Yeah, yeah. it only does 80 right only, now. And if you're willing to commit another double colorless to it to Deep Hurricane, then so be it, because he gets yeah. to return KO with the other Evil Tall EX. Now, we see Sycamore from Alex. Uh, Go to discard his hand, draw 70 cards. He's got a Forest. He's got the Oddish and the, I mean, the Gloom and the Valplume. He's got a DC as well. He could go for Deep Hurricane right now. But if you can Deep Hurricanes, Azul can just easily retaliate. Yeah, just needs energy. And that, yeah. that guy, he is gone. Gone from the world. I mean, Alex, I think, is in oh. a position where he has to risk it. Uh, for hope that uh, Azul has no energy because he's in such a poor position otherwise. Yeah, yeah. So uh, on Azul's turn, does he find an energy or not to knock out this Lugie? If he does, it's pretty much game from there, right? Uh, it's going to be very difficult. If it's a DCE, he can still stall with Jirachi. Um, but Alex needs to get Jolteon online as soon as possible. Yeah. This going to be hard to do. Another trouble shit in the field as well. Okay. Um, let's see what does Azul do here, guys. He's got a fighty fear belt. Uh, okay. Does he have a dark energy or not? That is what you see. Azul's deck size is pretty low as well. I don't think this game will come to a deck out. You don't think so? Yeah. Yeah. 
So see if he has to get for it in. Both players are going to shuffle up. Both players are going to get four cards. And can Zillow hit this Dark Energy or not? I mean, I think Alex is going to get four, but four. Zillow's going to get six. Oh, Zillow has a negative prize card here. I forgot. Zillow's not taking a yeah. prize card, but he's done a ton of damage. Yeah, there's uh, two Jolteons ready to get knocked out pretty much. Um, that Lugia is ready to get knocked out. Everybody's, you know, they're pretty weak. They're about to yeah. pass out from the party. They're, they're tired of playing Pokemon. So... Let's see what happens. All right, both players are going to shuffle. And can as well find a Dark Energy. He's going to get six new cards. And does he get one or not? Ah, uh, I mean, if he had one. And there it is. All right, so he's going to treat, do the E-Ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 150 damage. And knock out that Luga EX. So we'll go down to four prize cards. And now, Alex, he can't start us. Um, he can, but it doesn't he really matter. He can't start us. He yeah. needs to get energy and a Jolteon. And hopefully get one of the rainbow or double colorless variety. Yeah, there's an end, so he could maybe in Alazul down to four. Okay, you gonna put that down. But man, now this Evatol is about to go crazy. It's so hard to believe that in Standard and Expanded, Evatol is still one of the best decks. You know what I can't believe? That TPCI continues to print this card. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we see Ultra Ball discarding Forge Giant Plants and a Trainer's Mail. Uh, I wonder what you have to say. You know, you know what R&D thought? Mm. This card, one of our legendary cards, it was underplayed during its time. Let's give it another <laughs> opportunity to shine. It didn't win any regionals. I don't think it won anything this yeah. Evil Yeah. Did it win any worlds? No. So, I don't think it did win worlds, did it? Evil Tall's never won worlds. Oh. I think for, for worlds, um, I guess, well, not in Masters. I don't think in the other divisions either. Um, yeah, because I don't remember. The thing about Evil Tall is that uh, Night March was in format for a long time, which yeah. made it bad. And uh, Evil Tall's off in the deck with the target on its back because it's like. Dark is just, you know, you think it's the number one deck. But I think it's very impressive that Azul, uh, you know, took an archetype that, you know, from two years ago and sort of vamped it up and, you know, added Fighting Fury Belts. You add things like Olympia and the Fright Night Evil Tall. And, and he's Max really updated, Yeah, Max yeah. Elixir's updated it to become competitively viable today. Mm -hmm. I think similarly for Shemansky, a lot of people thought that uh, Bioplume was unplayable without Battle Compressor and Revitalizer because it's just very clunky. Um, but Revitalizer is still playable, though. Well, the combination of Compressor yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, and Revitalizer okay, okay. is what okay. I'm sorry, saying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, because uh, you don't really need Revitalizer unless you have Compressor. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, with Battle Compressor rotating, I think the consensus, general consensus of the community was that Vilebox is, uh, is uh, you know, is, is no longer viable. But yeah. Alex and his team was, were able to make it work. And, and obviously he had a great result today regardless of how this, team, how yeah. this game turns out. Now, uh, we still see an end from Alex. Both players are going to draw four new cards. But, I mean... All Alex has in hand right now is just an in, and it looks like we're going to see a maybe... I mean, he's going to treat somebody. No, he's going to let this Jolteon just get knocked out. He That's, can't let this yeah, Jolteon yeah, no die. Uh, so, he's stalling for time, basically, but he's he's, he's on a clock. Uh, Azul has four prizes left, and he has the knockout. Right his hand. Can he knock out a Jolteon right now? Uh, he has 70. Another Garbo uh. with the Flowstone. Oh, my goodness. That's, like... If Alex had any kind of hand, chance, I don't know. I feel, I feel, it certainly doesn't look favorable for Alex at this point. Um, you but, it but there's the thing that if he ever gets uh, the double colorless and a, and a rainbow on Jolteon, there is nothing in Azul's deck that can touch him. And yep. so Azul will need to lie sand around for prizes, and all of his main attackers are weak to lightning. So. That's very true. So is he sick, sick of war for Azul? Going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, uh, probably just trying to look for energies to put on the active Evil. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He Alex? might he might actually put energy on the benched uh, Pitch Black Spear one what? so he can get the knock. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, Alex has already played two Lysanders, maybe one or two in this game. Yeah, Alex has played a couple. Yeah, so I don't think he has any more Lysanders left. I'm like pretty sure. I Man, I could be wrong. Uh, it's been a long, long, yeah. long day. If I were, if I were, if I were Azul, I would um, attach the dark to the active, um, just because um, I would risk that my opponent didn't have Lysander. Yeah, same here. And I would also need to have enough energy to knock out both Jolteons with Evil Ball. And mm -hmm. so one of them has 70, and the other one has 80. So he needs 90 damage. So he needs to be able to 90 damage uh, knockout with uh, three energies and a Fighting Fairy Belt or even yeah. a Wise Cyclone. He only so. needs one more energy to even accomplish that. Yeah, right so now. that's what so, I would yeah. do. But oh, he no, put he's... this. Oh, hold on, he's debating. What did, where did he put the dark at? Immediately, as soon as he puts it down, he goes like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the other, the other thing I thought earlier was Pitch Black Spear. But I, I think uh, now that I've had a little time to mull over it, he can't get a knockout next turn. I prefer it on the Evil Tall, yeah, on an active Evil Tall EX. Okay, but this is not a bad play either. Yeah, he does yeah. get the knockout. He just needs one energy regardless. He needs one energy regardless. I don't think it's a bad play. Because the next turn, he could have Wise Cycloned it. Back anyway. True. So there's no so uh, there's end. no risk to that. Both players gonna shuffle up. Azul's gonna get three. Alex is gonna be four. And it's only a matter of time for Azul. It looks like he's gonna become our Lando regional champ. Yeah. If Alex misses an energy attachment this turn, then it's over. I think. Yeah. Uh, one, two, two three. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. If uh, well, as long as he 
hits an energy. If he does, uh, the reason why I liked it on the active uh, Evil Tall uh, EX is because uh, there's uh, no way to end him out of a Y Cyclone next turn. But there we see a DC going down the Jolteon. Yep, attach it to the active one to preserve it. Another he question, does should Azul retreat. have a okay. life sander? Does he have a, an enhanced hammer? Either one of these cards will pretty much be game over for Alex. I Azul also may not be able to Sycamore. I don't know how thick his deck is. Doesn't look like there's more than seven or eight cards. Yeah. Now, if he has an energy, he can take a knockout this turn and then life sander up the Oddish to win the game. Yes. Oh, Blitz. No, no. Jolton can't knock out a uh, Evil Thonic's turn. Uh, it does nine Olympia, Olympia to okay. heal. Right. That's clever. That's something. Um, yeah. Does he find a dark? Oh, he has a dark man. Engine. He has a dark Does he engine. have? Okay, then he's fine. Yeah. I think he's just debating what to do. I think he's just making sure his his plays are the best plays. He's doing the math, make sure nothing's wrong. He's trying his best to become the Orlando regional champion. Yeah. So he's definitely. I've uh, been in similar positions before, and I can absolutely understand yeah. double and triple he's checking. Make sure this is a lot. Twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. Right I don't even think he's thinking about the money. I think Azul's, you know, uh, been playing a long time, and he's had a lot of good finishes at regionals, but never taken home the trophy. And to take home the largest regionals in the history of uh, Pokemon would certainly be uh, uh, impressive. Here it is. Right. Does Azul have Lysander? So hundred and okay. All right, guys. Time to see what's going to happen. Oh, he does not have. It. Imagine if he had Insta he play. If he has yeah, it. Dude, oh no man. Way. All right. Oh man. So. It doesn't look. Is he looking at Jolteon second attack? <laughs> is he making sure he, he knows what he does correctly? Uh, so Dark Energy, we see a DCE. Oh, man. So he has enough to Sycamore. I think if I'm Azul, I might touch a Dark Energy to an Evatol. Just the, the regular baby Evatol. Yep. So that way you can, uh, you can use the second attack to knock out a Jolteon, or the Oddish, or Jirachi. I think it's maybe? safe to go. Or Ooh, no, no, no. I don't think that's right. I think you want to be able to take a knockout next turn. Take right. a knockout. Yeah, you have to. Well, I mean, either way, he just needs the energy to take a knockout next turn. Um, so fighting for yeah. the other Evatol, okay. And he's actually going to retreat into the Garboder. Yep, he's going to stall for a turn. That's that's a fair play. Yeah, because like I said, I don't think Alex has any more Lysanders left. Yeah, there's no more Lysander effects. Garbodor is in a wall for at least two turns. Alex has five prizes left. Azul has a little time to find his Lysander. Yeah, so he's just going to pass here. Uh, so there's 70 damage coming out on Azul's turn. He's going to draw a card. Uh, Max looks to the top six, and does he find a dark? And there's a dark energy, but where does it go? I mean, imagine the other, Ev the new Evil Tall. Yeah, it right? goes on the new Evil Tall. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Yeah, we said for sure at the same time. Right in. This is why we're here. That's why we're here. Yeah. So I'm uh, gonna put the dark energy on probably, probably the Evil Tall. Yeah, we're not gonna say he is, but he might. Yep, there it is. All right, there it goes. And what does Azul gonna send? Shooting the other Garboder, and we're just waiting. Yeah, for Shemansky has no more Lysander, so it's not a, it's not an issue at all. We're just waiting for Via Seeker to come out to play. I mean, if Azul didn't have it. Uh, he would definitely pop a scoop. You think so? No, I think you play it out here. Just sort of, uh, I think when you're in that position, you just sort of play it out. You know, you want to go out, uh, you know, go out swinging, even though you may have no options left. Yeah. It's kind of like an honor thing. Yeah. So see you treat to the, uh, to the Evatol. Don't be confused. He cannot do any damage, but he can attach a dark onto somebody. Going to put in the Evatol, okay. And uh, we'll probably see another flash rate. We'll not, oh, it would not knock out this guy, actually. Because he has a fighting fury belt on it. He has a fighting fury belt. So it needs two turns to knock it out. So it does buy Azul two more turns. At least one more turn. Yep. This guy. Uh, what is Alex predicting for? There's a gloom coming down. Okay. All right. Gonna s I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as Azul He's gets thinning done, his deck, I yeah. guess. There's really nothing. He wants additional. He wants to thin his deck because Azul does have another enhanced hammer. I think he's only played one. Yeah. So uh, he has two in his deck. So he wants to be able to, uh, you know, prevent any uh, mm -hmm. bad stuff from happening. That That's way. true. So Zool needs a VS Seeker. I don't know if he has any left. Well, he must have one left, I think. I don't think he's, I, I don't think he's uh, seen uh, him play enough. Unless he's waiting for the other Enhanced Hammer. If he doesn't have any more VS Seekers, he's waiting to draw the Enhanced yeah, Hammer. Yeah, he's waiting for something. Yeah, so he, he, yeah, like I said, I don't think he... I mean, like I said, he might be playing for Honor, but I mean, that... Just yeah, slowly. in all likelihood, he has a play, and he's just yeah. trying to figure it out. So Dark Energy on the Evil Tall Yeah, he's just putting a ton of energy on the Evil Tall Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, now the only... Mm, no, it should be fine. He knocked out the Lugia. Right, so no Lugia left, so you don't have to worry about an air ball kind of situation. Um, so yeah, we'll see for Dark Energy. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Okay, Dark Energy on the Evatol EX. Uh, okay, another attack. There we I go. I like that. Yep. Jirachi doesn't have. Um, the Jirachi's on the bench, so there's no way. The, he has the target to knock out anyway. Yeah. 
Um, and so he just wants to be able to make sure all of his Pokemon can retreat. So they were seeing Ninja Boy for Jirachi. Yeah, he's okay. So he's going to try to get something that can't be knocked out immediately. So there's a Glaceon coming down. Mm, okay, okay. Um... So see, 20, 40, 60, 80. So maybe Abdul have put, should have put the energy on um, the Evital EX. But he, I think he can knock out Glim regardless. Uh, uh, Alex is down to three prize cards. Three to one. Can Azul find this via seek or not? Let's see how many cards are left. Uh, looks like there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven, maybe six left in his deck. He can't play Juniper right now. Or he decks out. <sighs> Man, all right. Well... He certainly didn't have it in his hand right now. Yeah, that's for sure. This game's coming to a close in the next couple turns. Um, Alex is in a dominating position from his Jolteon, but Azul needs one more prize to actually take the game. Mm -hmm. What Azul right now is trying to figure out is what's the best way to thin his hand in case Alex does end. What's the best way to thin every all of his available So he's going to retreat here in a Y Cyclone? Yeah, he's trying to survive as long as possible. Oh, no, yeah, he's yeah. not going to Y Cyclone. Okay, okay. Um, but he, he's giving. I, I actually would have Y Cyclone. I would have Y Cyclone yeah, to the Fright Knight. So now he can't knock out the Valpum. No, no, he has a bench one. Oh, no. oh, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't knock out the Valpum now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So Zikamore going to discard the hand, draw seven in cards. Okay, there's a Rainbow Energy. You're so right. now, if you test Rainbow Energy, the active, and if Zul's baking on that other enhanced hammer, that's game. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, puts on the Glaceon. Oh, oh man. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Azul's looking at that enhanced hammer. Does he have it? Well, I mean, well, Glaceon is 170, I think. Something like that. Or I actually don't know. 170, I should know that. One of those it's 170, I think. So Evil Tall has enough. One, two, so three. So he four. looks like he topped it with the Via Seeker. Did he? Yep. There's a DC. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Yeah, VSC for Lysander. Gonna be the Valpum and Azul. Oh, my God. I didn't see the top deck, but that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, I saw reading their, 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 uh, the cards at the top, so I mentioned he had the Lysander. But, guys, yeah, that there was... we go. Azul becomes your Orlando Regional Champion. $5,000 yeah. in his pocket. $5,000 in his pocket. And Two finally, uh, he's able to break through at the top level uh, you know, at a, at a regional event. Mm -hmm. He won you know, a couple states last year. He's certainly won his share of cities. And uh, so, uh, you know, congratulations to Azul. I think. Uh, Looking for uh, big things from him this season. He's and he's uh, in prime shape now to repeat uh, top 16 finish in in, the, in North America. And congrats to Alex as well. First year master, first year big tournament, first time big tournament. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I I know you know people who age up and it takes them you know a while to get acclimated to to the level of competition in masters because. Yeah. You know, in seniors, uh, you know, your first couple rounds, you can expect some easy matchups. And, it, you know, essentially you don't have to win as many games to get through cut. But Masters, you know, starting even from round one and two, you're going to be faced with top quality opponents or at least difficult opponents with good deck lists. And, um, uh, and so to, to have made it through the entire gauntlet and to make it to the finals, I mean, this is first regionals. Great accomplishment. Great accomplishment yeah. And look forward, uh, look forward uh, to more from him. There you go. So guys, I'm about to head out here. Got to stop the stream. Got to hurry up and catch my flight. It's almost six, so it looks like we might make it in time. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for having me, host. Right, thank you Quick. so much, Sam. I really do appreciate it. Brandon. Brandon. So, Brandon. I can All right. Move up the screen. I'll show you beautiful face real quick. Here you go, guys. Oh. 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 There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for right. thanks for checking out the stream. Really uh, appreciate it, buddy. Um, have a great Sunday. Check out NoLimitGaming.com. Yeti Gaming. Oh, Subscribe to Team Fish Knuckles. Uh, but yeah. So I might be commentating Virginia Regionals, maybe St. Louis. All right. So if you have any suggestions, shoot me some PMs on uh, Team Fish Knuckles on the Facebook page. So, but we'll see. Nothing confirmed yet. But, guys, hope you have a great night. All righty. Yeah, bye, guys. Right, take care. All right, guys. I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All righty.